Welcome to CNS Chalk Talk. My name is Mark Holness. Today we're going to talk about G8032. G8032 is an Ethernet ring protection protocol that has been standardized within ITU. It provides sub 50 millisecond protection switching for network constructs that form a closed loop, or said another way, for network constructs that are rings. I'd like to dive a little bit deeper into some of the value propositions and attributes associated with G8032. It has several values that are appreciated within the industry. It provides an efficient network interconnection between network elements within the network. Another uh, value proposition with GD32 is that it is standardized within ITU. It's a standardized Ethernet ring protection protocol. I'd like to discuss with you or share with you some of the important network constructs or some of the important GD32 constructs that are used within a network. There are two primary constructs. One is a ring, which is really just a closed loop. The second we'll refer to as a subring. Uh, it's essentially a construct that provides a dual node interconnection. One important thing that I'd like to stress here is that even with both of these constructs, they share the same protection protocol. Now, from a networking perspective, we can uh, interconnect two rings together via a shared node, a common point. One of the considerations with such a interworking relationship, it's a, that forms a single point of failure. With JD32, you could actually combine a subring with a ring. And as you'll notice, this um, uh, addresses the single point of failure as with the ring to ring via shared node uh, since there are now two uh, access points between the ring and the subring. A third construct that is, uh, can be used is to connect two subrings together. And the fourth, which I believe is very important, is that a subring can be connected to a generalized network, a generalized metro aggregation network, uh, whether it be MPLS, MPLS TP, OTN, uh, provider bridging, etc. GD32 subrings can provide a generalized dual home access solution to these types of networks. Sienna's uh, GD32 solution has several dimensions to it. One is based on standards. It uses standard 802.3 max, uses standard 802.1 Q and amendment bridging. It uses standard IEEE 802.1 AG connectivity fault management uh, protocol uh, as a part of its solution. If we look at the control plane or the control management aspect with our solution, we can provide sub 50 millisecond protection switching over GD32 in support of E-line services, E-tree services, as well as ELAN services. And we can do this in a, in a loop-free environment without introducing any frame reorder. From a uh, forwarding plane dimension, GD32 can be supported of, with encapsulations uh, that support .1Q or it could support a .1AD, a Q and Q encapsulation, or it could support a .1AH, a Mac and Mac type of encapsulation. So the flexibility is there. It could fit into uh, uh, um, the provider's needs uh, depending upon what type of encapsulation technique they have in their network. Another dimension is the management plane. Um, Sienna has a GD32 MIB uh, that has created and is using and also has a generic uh, data model, information model that can be used to manage um, our solution. In addition, since GD32 is based upon Ethernet, we can leverage uh, the various OAM capabilities that are specified in both IEEE and ITU whether it be for troubleshooting uh, using .1AG, 
your, your loopback, link trace messages in CCMs, etc. Or um, why 1731 um, specifications for performance monitoring on the ring or over the ring. From a scaling perspective, um, it's very important to, I'd like to stress that since JD32 is uh, based on Ethernet Mac, it can ride the bandwidth curve of Ethernet. So we're able to provide one gig rings, 10 gig rings, 40 gig, 100 gig, and, and beyond. And lastly, um, when we look at Sienna's portfolio, we support GD32 across our entire suite of carrier Ethernet platforms on our various releases. And also, we support GD32 on our packet optical platforms as well. As a consequence, we are building networks that change the way in which our customers can compete.